Lewis Part 2, the in-car. It's here, it's today. I've got the owner sat next to me. All right. welcome, and welcome to this week's Fast and Fun. So, welcome back, Sean, to the channel after six, six, six months. So, this car has evolved yet again. Yeah, definitely. So, let's go through all the bits that you've done since we last reviewed it. So, yeah, it's just got lighter, a lot lighter. So, like, we've got plastic windows in it now, over glass. All the door metal's been taken out, as you can see from the video Richter earlier. Yeah. Um, the bumpers, I've even drilled holes in them to light them up. But the big one is he's got a Ford Anglia back axle in with a spool diff. So what that is, is it's a locker. It's not got a limited slip, it's not open, it's locked. It's a welded diff, but properly machined. So that means then he's going to drag, he must drag the wheels around the corners, especially at lower speed, it must be quite... Yeah, it's violent, but for what I do with it, it's perfect because it gives you that 100% grip and traction when you want it. So for people that haven't watched part one, just a minute, very quickly, what's the, the year of the car is a what? It's a 1918 Mark II Escort Gear. Yeah. And now it's a full blown street lever crank car. That, that now, yeah, that's the key. So this is road legal. Road legal. But you have, it's all about for you, that quarter mile drag racing. Yeah, quarter mile drag racing. And just trying to get the times as low as I can. So, three, I assume it's three important things for drag racing then. Yeah. Power, weight, and probably traction. Yeah, power, the, the more power you've got, the better. The lighter it is. Obviously, the easier you've got it, and if you can get the rear wheels to hook, you'll be able to cut a good reaction time. Yeah. Engine-wise, just again, what's the what's the what's the power that it's kicking out? So it's a 160 brake horse, uh, 711, 1700 cross flow, 45 Webers, a big race cam. As I'm sure you are. Getting you yeah, through now. Oh, yeah. That just wants the rev. Yeah. And yeah, just light and slow wheel. Yeah, just a nice home built motor. So, so it's nothing ridiculous yeah. in regards to modern day power outputs. Oh, no, no, no. And that's at the flywheel, isn't it? The 160. Yeah, 160 at the fly. Yeah. What about weight? What's this down to? Oh, about around 900 kilograms. 900? Wow. Yeah. So, so all these, and I, forgive me for when when Sean pulled up today and we were looking at what he's done and I get the inside of the doors, but the, the, the drilling of holes in the bumpers and the rear balance yeah, as well. Yeah, the balance is done as well. And, and so you talked about the red plates, taking the plates off and putting stickers on because yeah. it'll save a few grams. Yeah, and then standard red plate is 247 kilograms. Uh, Just again for for info, really. Um, what's what's your best time on the quarter mile? Then? So far, it's 15.3 at 89 mile an hour. So are you pleased with that then? Is that is for, that for the day we had? The weather was awful. And the fact is, I've never done it before. I've never been on the drag strip with this car. Yeah, I was over the moon with it. Yeah. But now, obviously, the boat's bit me, and I want to make it lighter, which makes it quicker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what about the diff? Must have made a difference, surely, getting the, off the yeah, line. Yeah. So the spool. Not only the fact is it's actually lighter than the limited slip. It's simpler. There's less to break. And as I said, it's permanent traction. Yes, it's right. It's permanent lock. It just wants to go in a straight line. 
And, and, and what about actually? What, what can you do then to help traction off the line? What sort of? Because this is all leaf strings, isn't it? Yes, yeah, leaf strings. Wow. So yeah, like we got um, traction bars on the back to make the tires grip. I do the grip. I mean, how much slip do you get? Uh, if I, if you get it right and you've got the traction bar set right, I actually got it perfect on one of the hits. Yeah. And the axle gripped that hard, it broke the leaf spring bolt. Wow. Can I leave him first or not? No. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, you won't. It, oh. Sorry, sorry. Don't panic. Don't panic. Ignition Living off. Good. Let the brakes off. Oh, brakes off. Yeah. So I got the handbrake. Yeah. Start. Ignition off. Ignition on. It's like being in my driving test. Oh, this is on, on camera as well. Right, put him in first, hold the handbrake. You, you, you do the handbrake? Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Go on, feel it, Rich, feel it, Rich. Go That's on. it, Rich. There you are, mate, you got it. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got to cut that out of the uh, video. It's all right, it's a bastard, mate. I, I, have, I have to say, this is actually a very intimidating car. Yeah. It's, we've had sun shining showers, so some of the roads are wet through, some are very dry. It's got, it, it is, it's noisy, it's vibrating, it's a four speed, it is, it's an intimidating car. Shocking. In the short drive. 
plastic bottle with a pipe going into it, helmet with some cable ties. <laughs> right, is this, so your, is this your mechanics flipping home DIY Yes. Yeah. So what's that for? So basically, as engines and gearboxes get hot, they breathe oil. They, yeah. do, they spur a little bit of oil out. So on the strip, you're not allowed to drop it. For obvious reasons. Yeah. So all I did was put a pipe off the gearbox into a bottle, catches it. So see, it just drips onto it. Yeah. And then through the pipe. And in. Yeah, that's it. And then when I get back home, cut the ties. Tip the ball up, let it run back in. Yeah. 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 You have it to me, Phil. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the bumpers the bonnet hinges yeah if, it, if I can physically unbolt it and bolt it back on yeah it's not structural yeah therefore I will go to the bare minimum yes obviously structural things you've got to leave yeah I've got to I, I'll go yeah. so far yeah but I won't go quite as silly as I will with yeah. anything, everything else yeah Think it's a sport where you've got to think about because it's not just around the track. You've got 
got to think about how can I make my car launch off the line better? If I change the first gear ratio or the yeah. dip ratio, will it give me more? Or you know, it goes on the gear ratios then. What you don't want to be doing is a hundred yards short of the line having to do another gear change, do you? You want to be sort of topping out just as you're hitting the port. Ideally, you want to be shift light on just as you cross the finish line. So, is there anything else you can do now? Or have you reached where you think you can get this car? No, it'll never be finished now. It will always keep evolving and developing. Right. I mean, we may in the future, we may change it a lot more. And we may have to get back together to do like a two years into the drag race yeah. inside the things video. When you've, when you've taken a point two for the second off yeah. the quarter mile. Yeah. <laughs> what what do they measure you down to? Is it is it two or three decimal points then? What's four? Four? <laughs> That's because of this is the corner I've stalled on, but you won't know that because I'm gonna edit that bit out. I would leave that in, Rich, simply yeah. because it shows how much of a pig it is to oh, really drive. Oh, I thought you were going to say what. <laughs> what a shit drive I am. Even I bought it. Uh, that nearly popped out. <laughs> oh, you've got to leave it in there. I did say to Sean about on the bottom of the Perspex windows, there's rubber trim. I actually thought, oh, is it put some rubber trim on to get better air though, so they can... <coughs> what was the reason, Sean? To keep the water out. Yeah, yeah. Because it does go out on the road. It's not a race... It, well, it is, it's a race car that's vaguely street legal. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's... So, 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 so weight saving goes so far, but sometimes there's a limit and you've got to have a little yeah. bit of looking sense. That's right. You've got to have a little bit of common sense. And at the end of the day, we've had here playing in Sean Park 2. Um, a big thanks to you Sean for really letting us know all the lengths that from a drag racing motorsport type of car that this is but yet keeping road legality the lengths that you would go to which just baffles me but it's been the actual driving experience the whole car absolutely loved every minute of it I hope you have watching this, so thank you, thank you for watching, if you haven't subscribed please do, and there will be another video next week, thanks for watching guys.